should probably get going now. Don't leave on my account. You can go. I'll take it from here. Yeah, I'm going to head out, too. Uh, Dr. Saybrook, are you taking on any new patients? Uh, ever since my return to Landview, I just... I, I have this feeling that everyone's out to get me. You know what? Even paranoics have real enemies. Will I see you later? Yeah. Great. Well, aren't you going to kiss her goodbye? I have no idea what you see in him. He didn't even rape you. What'd you say? Oh, that's much better. I'm sure that's just the way Dr. Saybrook likes it. John, don't. It's exactly what he wants to have happen. That was assault over there, you know. Just call a lawyer. Oh, I would if I had one. Taking the one that was offered to you. Well, I only used the best. I had tried to contact my former counsel, Evangeline Williamson, but uh, I was distressed to learn that she had become incapacitated some time ago. I understand it was a, a hate crime. Such a shame. What is Landview coming to? I'm out of here. Was it something I said? Hate to disappoint you, but I find sociopaths rather boring. Hmm. Give that granddaughter of yours a tickle for me, hmm? And uh, keep me in mind if you need any babysitting. I love children. Well, I hope this next round of questioning won't be about Jared. I'd much rather talk about the fair Natalie. Mention Marty and Natalie again. See what happens. Ooh, goody. So we found common ground. That being? You seem to enjoy punishment. I'm willing to oblige. Oh, how I do enjoy a good piece of theater. And you keep running that mouth of yours. What I don't understand is why I'm here. I mean, where's the evidence that I killed Wayne Landers or Pamela Stewart or dug up Nash Brennan Rick? I mean, all the evidence seems to point to Jared Banks. Admit it, Lieutenant. The police have nothing on me, and your colleagues in Napa can't touch me either. Maybe not, but I can. What does that mean? The law fails to protect the people I care about. I'll kill you myself. Very law-abiding. Serve and protect. You know, people have killed me before. Trust me. This time it'll stick. You know, maybe you heard about me. You know, maybe you asked around or you read something. You have no idea what's going on in my head. If you did, you'd know I don't screw around when it comes to the people I care about. That's twice now you have used the euphemism care about instead of love. If you do weasel out of these charges and you find yourself, just happen to find yourself within a mile of Marty or Natalie or Hope or anyone else, I'll kill you right there and then. And believe me, this time will be for good. That you still care about Natalie, especially since you seem so intent on the future with Dr. Saybrook. I hope you're not still carrying a torch for Natalie. Oh, I have such wonderful plans for my former bride. I just love to see her when she gets. I wish you could see what I'm visualizing right now. You might want to kill me indeed. Mm. Better safe, Natalie. I'm sorry, Natalie, right? Yeah. It's Miss, you got a sec? We're busy. Where were we? Oh, yes. Natalie. I told you she'd come to me. My dad told me that he's not going to trial for Jared's murder. 
or anything. Is that true? Isn't it wonderful, darling? Soon you and I will be free to be together. Shut up, Lawrence. Listen, we're going to talk about this, all right? And I will take care of him, I promise. John is serious about that. Five minutes ago, he threatened to kill me. Hey, Jack, need a little help in here. John wouldn't waste his life on garbage like you. Me, on the other hand, I have nothing to live for.